Have you ever thought about picking up a metal detector and heading out into the middle of a field to find some treasure? Well, it might be a good idea, because there is still plenty of treasure waiting to be discovered. In fact, some of the biggest finds in history have been discovered completely by accident. Priceless artifacts, piles of gold, ancient coins, and rare jewels have all been discovered completely by chance. You know how satisfying it is to find a quarter on the ground? Imagine that feeling times one million. Here are the biggest treasures found by accident. American Special Forces on a covert mission stumbled across $780 million in cash tucked away in steel boxes. The soldiers were looking for a chainsaw to cut down a nearby tree, but they ended up finding $320 million in cash instead. Within a few days, more hiding spots were discovered, and the total amount of hidden cash discovered reached $780 million. The steel boxes contained $100 bills stacked in neat bundles of $100,000. The dollars were crisp and ready to be used, so some soldiers were attempted to pocket the cash. Fortunately, cooler heads prevailed, for the most part. Most of the soldiers in the group realized taking the cash for themselves would be highly unethical, but there were a few bad apples in the bunch. Three of the 50 steel boxes went missing, but the heist was discovered when one soldier reported to his superiors that one of the boxes was open. The five soldiers who absconded the missing boxes were caught and ended up facing a court-martial. How tempted would you be if you found that type of cash by accident? Would the devil on your shoulder steer you in the wrong direction? Or would the angel get the final word? You should keep an eye out for sunken treasure the next time you go diving. There are thousands of shipwrecks yet to be discovered, and you might be able to find one completely by chance. The Uluburun shipwreck is one of the oldest wrecks ever discovered. And when sponge diver Mehmet Kakir found the remains in 1998, there was barely anything left. The Cedar ship had almost completely broken down after sitting at the bottom of the sea for over 3,300 years. Kakir found the shipwreck in the Mediterranean Sea off the coast of Turkey during a routine dive. He quickly spotted some ceramic jars and soon after found ingots made of glass, copper, and tin. Archaeologists spent the next 10 years surveying the area, and they uncovered even more priceless artifacts. More than 18,000 Bronze Age relics were discovered, including elephant tusks, hippo teeth, precious jewels, raw materials, and jewelry. The most the valuable find was a golden seal of Egyptian Queen Nefertiti. Over 20,000 dives were completed to recover as much of the ancient treasure as possible. To most people, an old rundown tank would be a piece of junk. However, if you ever buy an old tank off of eBay, you might be in for quite a surprise. That's exactly what happened to Nick Mead. Mead owns a tank restoration service in the UK called Tanks A Lot. It's a very unique business. He fixes up old tanks and lets tourists take them for a spin. They can take the tanks out into a field and crush old cars. It's not uncommon to find weapon stashes in old tanks, but Meade found something much more valuable. Hidden inside the Chinese-made Type 69 tank was $2.4 million worth of gold bars. Meade was amazed that he found the gold bars, but unfortunately, he might not be able to keep the gold. He turned the gold over to authorities, and a decision is being made on whether the gold will be returned to its country of origin and given to its citizens. It's quite an incredible story, and Meade says that Hollywood is interested in making a feature film about his discovery. The Dead Sea Scrolls were first discovered in 1947 completely by accident. A group of Bedouin goat herders stumbled upon some clay pots in a cave. After tossing a rock at one of the pots, some scrolls tumbled out. The goat herders had no idea what they had found, and the scrolls sat in their camp for days. Occasionally, they would take out the scrolls to show their friend. But nobody knew that they had a gold mine on their hands. They did not expect to find something so valuable when they were looking for a lost goat. The herders were completely unaware of the value of the ancient papyrus scrolls. They even tried to sell the scrolls in Bethlehem, and no one wanted them. Eventually, they managed to sell the scrolls to an antique dealer in the city. Unfortunately, they sold the valuable scrolls for a mere $50. Today, even tiny pieces of the scrolls have sold for millions. When archaeologists heard of the discovery, they descended on the area and found many more scrolls hidden inside caves. It's one of the most significant finds of the 20th century, and it was found completely by accident. The Rosetta Stone is a priceless artifact, but there wasn't a huge expedition to find it. In fact, it was discovered completely by accident by Napoleon's forces on July 19, 1799. During Napoleon's Egyptian campaign, French soldiers were feverishly repairing a fort near the town of Rosetta and came across the priceless artifact entirely by chance. After knocking down an ancient wall, they stumbled across the once-in-a-lifetime find. The Rosetta Stone dates all the way back to the 2nd century BCE, 
and it was seized by British forces when they defeated Napoleon. Language experts spent 20 years trying to crack the code of ancient Egyptian hieroglyphics found on the Rosetta Stone. It was an arduous task, but experts managed to emerge victorious thanks to Greek passages and plenty of research. The deciphered glyphs were an extremely valuable resource to scholars, and they've been used to study ancient Egyptian language and literature. Today, the Rosetta Stone is housed in the British Museum of London. Imagine working construction and finding a million-dollar bounty completely by accident. That's what happened to a group of workmen in 1840 while they were repairing an embankment on the south side of River Ribble near Cuerdale. Cuerdale is right outside the city of Preston in the UK, and it's where a very impressive hoard of Viking treasures was found. The workmen stumbled across a bounty of silver ingots, silver bullion, silver coins, jewelry, and rare precious metals. In total, 8,600 items were found, and most of it is now in the British Museum of London. However, the workmen did get to keep one coin each. The Cuerdale Hoard is one of the greatest Viking treasure troves ever found. In fact, it's the largest Viking silver treasure trove found outside of Russia. Even the Viking hoards found in Scandinavia pale in comparison. Vikings believed that any treasure they buried could be used in the afterlife, which might explain why there are so many Viking hordes around the world. Maybe you might stumble upon some ancient Viking treasure one day. Today, the Cuerdale Hoard is estimated to be worth about $3.2 million. There may be a lot more treasure hiding in Poland if the loot found in the Polish town of Szroda is any indication. A crew of workers discovered the Szroda treasure in 1985 when a building was demolished. They found a vase at the foundation of the destroyed building, which contained 3,000 Prague Groschen. Three years later, another vase was found at the base of yet another demolished building. This one contained silver and gold florin coins. Because so much treasure was being found, the site was secured by authorities and archaeologists. Much of the treasure was looted, but Polish officials have since recovered most of it. The Schroda treasure is estimated to be worth about $120 million. Are you tempted to take a trip to Poland to search for more buried treasure? Here's a perfect example of why it's such a good idea to own a metal detector. The Staffordshire Hoard is the largest Anglo-Saxon treasure ever found and estimated to be worth $4.1 million. The public was captivated when the hoard was found by Terry Herbert in 2009. It was discovered in the country of Staffordshire in the English countryside. Herbert was shocked when he found the extremely valuable treasure in the middle of a recently plowed field. He certainly wasn't expecting to find such a massive haul. Over 3,500 items were found in total, including weapons, religious artifacts, and gold. Fred Johnson, the farmer who owns the field, asked Herbert to use his metal detector there to look for a missing wrench. They found a lot more than a wrench. Sometimes losing a tool in a field can be a good thing. Here's another example of a massive treasure hall being discovered because a farmer lost a tool in the middle of a field. In 1992, farmer Peter Watling called up a friend with a metal detector to help him look for a lost hammer. Instead, they found a treasure bounty that's worth about $3.8 million today. The pair discovered an oak chest filled with valuables that dated all the way back to the 4th century BCE. Inside the chest, they found silver spoons, ancient coins, and gold jewelry. Soon after, archaeologists found even more treasure in the area, including ancient Roman ladles and serving dishes. The Hoxon Hoard was eventually purchased by the British Museum. However, the museum had to call in funds from donors because the treasure was so valuable. The next time you visit the British Museum, you can see the Hoxon Hoard for yourself. And you can even see the hammer that went missing. It's in the museum, too. We're sure you've heard of the Venus de Milo. Not to be confused with the gummy Venus de Milo that Homer Simpson drooled over, but did you know that the Venus de Milo was discovered completely by accident? Well, it was. The iconic statue was found on the island of Milos in 1820 by a Greek peasant named Yorgos Kentrotas. Kentrotas was clearing away rubble and salvaging marble blocks from a pile of ancient ruins when he stumbled across the statue. French naval officer Olivier Boutier bribed Kentrotas to help him unearth the statue, which was later presented as a gift to King Louis XVIII of France. Imagine receiving a gift like that. It really does pay to be king. Today, the Venus de Milo, which depicts sea goddess Aphrodite, is on display at the Louvre in Paris. That's it, folks. What is the first thing that you would buy if you found some treasure by accident? Are you surprised that these valuable finds were stumbled upon completely by chance? Are you rushing out to the store to buy a metal detector right now? Let us know in the comments below. And be sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. It really makes a difference. Thanks for watching, and stay tuned to this channel for more great videos. See you next time.